You're watching PBS. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and a wonderful warm welcome to you all. Lawrence needed a day off today, so I'm filling in. Let's kick off the show with a toe-tapping number featuring Myron Florin on the accordion. Myron, is it? All right, can somebody turn these bubbles down? It's getting hard to... Wait! Did somebody say bubbles? Okay, welcome back to the art room for our Monster Bubbles episode. We're going to be needing six cups of water, one half cup cornstarch, one tablespoon of baking powder, half a cup of Dawn liquid, and one tablespoon of glycerin. Uh, the glycerin you might be able to find at CVS. That's where I got mine. That's a little tip for you, where to buy that. Uh, Dawn liquid, cornstarch, the baking powder, and there's everything laid out for you to see. A big shout out to our friends Katie and little Ellie and her husband Eric for bringing this to our attention and we had a blast one afternoon um, working with these huge bubbles. You might also want to get a tray, that's the Pyrex tray that I used, and a water jar big enough to hold about six cups of liquid. Uh, that's what we're going to put our special secret sauce in to make the bubbles. So let's begin. We'll fill it up full. Uh, there's about four cups there I've got. And I'm going to pour that in. Uh, needs uh, two more cups, I think. So, yeah, there we go. Two more cups of water. All right, very good. Let's uh, get our cornstarch. And I'm just going to uh, see if I can get a half cup of that. Stick it in my little measuring jar, little measuring thing, stick it in there. Very good. Um, if you have a long-handled wooden spoon, maybe mom can give you one, stir that up. Um, it's going to want to separate out on you all the time, but uh, just keep stirring it. It'll be fine. Get it all stirred up. It's kind of a milky consistency. Here we are with the baking powder. And let me just get uh, enough there. Okay, need a little second bit there. That's about a tablespoon, I think. And we'll stir that in as well. Stir it in really good. Okay. Next, we've got the Dawn liquid. Doesn't have to be Dawn, but it's better if it is. Uh, it's just like the best detergent ever. I'm sure you know that. And squirt that in. About a, a quarter of a... Half a cup, rather. Half a cup of Dawn liquid. Half a cup there. And we'll pour that into the mixture. And that's good to the last drop there. Get all of that out of there. Okay. Once you stir that up, it takes on this kind of a really beautiful light blue color. And um, then finally, the glycerin. A tablespoon of glycerin. And uh, fill that up. As we said, I, I got mine at CVS. Um, go there. I'm pretty sure you'll find it there if you don't have it up in your medicine closet already. Okay, stir that up. And uh, I think I'll stick the lid back on here. And we are just about ready. Oh, that's the magic sauce. That's so great. <laughs> okay, we'll be taking that out in the backyard in a minute. All right, so let's clear the decks here and I'll show you how to make... Uh, another thing we need, uh, we're going to call this the uh, wand, magic wand for bubbles. And what I've got is um, a string and a couple of sticks that I came up with. Um, actually, my sticks, I decided after looking around the house to make them out of coat hangers. We had plenty of those laying around. So if you just break the bottom part of a coat hanger off, you should have just about what you need there, and if your hands are small and you can't do it, uh, see if you can find an adult to help you break that. Okay, so we have our two sticks. Next, I'm going to take some thick yarn that I found. Um, it doesn't have to be yarn. It could be string like this uh, if you don't have any yarn. 
Yarn's good because it absorbs a lot of the liquid. And I'm going to cut off about, uh, well, I measured it, I guess, about 14 inches or so. Uh, that'll help you get started and make a nice sturdy knot on that stick. Then go around to the tip of the other stick. Nice sturdy knot there. Kind of a double knot, granny knot we used to call it. I think I'll snip that little bit off of that. Okay, very good. So for this next piece, we need a piece of yarn that's a little over double the length and you can just bend it in half like that fold it in half and you'll know um, it's not nuclear science or anything but I'm going to loop it around my first string just a little to secure it and tie a double knot there on the left and then uh, around the other side and um, yeah that's going to be a good opening that's going to catch our uh, liquid and form the bubble so uh, tied that on really securely and we are uh, looking so great there okay that's that spot that's going to hold the bubble right there very good um, and when you get out to the backyard think of the bubble as going right in there let's try out our bubble blowing formula looks like we're all ready to go Okay, that's going to wrap things up for today's art room. I hope you enjoyed that. Remember, no matter where you go, no matter what you do, you've got something to be proud of. You're an artist. Stick with it. And we'll see you back here next time in Mr. Shea's art room.